Okay, let me try recording that again. I just started and it just messed up the format. So I'm just going to quote from the Bible. I hope this doesn't mess up the format. So from Ephesians, this is a uh, okay. ES3. This is where I got it from. Okay, so let's read it. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, human beings or corporeal beings, but against the rulers against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. <laughs> okay, heavenly realms, aliens, or interdimensional entities. I think that could refer to two types of beings. Could refer, it could refer to corporeal beings, like aliens, or it could also refer to no, interdimensional entities, uh, uh, conscious entities. Um, dark forces, powers, and principalities. I think this is a very important like quote uh, theme. What is natural to the scientific materialist or what seems or is natural to the scientific materialist are or may be caused by an intelligent conscious being interacting with the material visible world through electricity. And this is that video I shared earlier about uh, the will, which is the consciousness, the intelligence, the shape, which is the form, the sacred geometry, and then the shape creates the matter, conform, creates the material world. So who creates the will or, or who created the will? Well, I think the will is source, eternal. The will has always been there. Uh, the will is like a... Uh, some people call it pure consciousness. Um, an un uh, unbounded... The all. Uh, there are levels of conscious beings. Angels and demons can be seen... Can be seen off, can off, can be seen as non-human, intelligent, interdimensional beings. You know, like uh, in the UFO uh, UAP hearing, uh, they were talking about interdimensional beings. That's just an, another way people can talk about it is angels and demons. And they, I guess, these interdimensional beings can be benevolent to humanity, or they can be malevolent to hit to humanity they have their own agendas just like humans uh, have their own agendas these interdimensional beings have their own agendas they're just intelligence they're just like i you uh you know we have, we have an intelligence we all have an agenda we have a will we have you know we think and we act these beings are live uh, in, a, in another dimension. I guess it's just another way of... I'm just using that word, maybe... I don't know how else to talk about it. Uh, I guess another way is to, like they say, in the heavenly realms, how spiritual. These are words that we can use to refer to things that we cannot see, 
but which are intelligent and conscious and who actually interact with us. They can, they can see you. They can see you right now. They can see me and they can respond to my consciousness, how I feel, how I think. Uh, the idea of synchronicity. Uh, well, oh man, this is the wrong. <laughs> this is the wrong uh, thing. Oh, I think I should put that in. in, in I gotta cut that and paste it in something else. I have to get rid of that. Uh, that's just a, uh, something about UFOs. Uh, forget about that. When I think about these interdimensional beings, we, uh, think about the idea of synchronicity or like these beings, these spiritual beings in the heavenly realm, so interdimensional, invisible, can affect the weather. Having a bad day when things don't seem right uh, cause, you know, they can cause disease by messing with the electrical signaling in cells making insects or birds or other animals disturb you, attack your psyche or emotional health, induce negative thoughts by messing with the electrical signals in your brain or body, do the same to other people and use them to attack you, such as when others get under your skin. These beings can perceive you directly without a medium of language. This can be regarded as telepathic communication, used by some ETs. This is an intelligence. It's interacting with you, with the material world, through electricity. What was said in that video? The will uses the, uh, the medium, or the will has the shape, and it uses the medium of electricity to interact with matter, all of the electrons, they're made of elect the electric charges. Um, all right. So people are angry. This is a oh, an interesting video. They people are really angry. They just they're fed up with the elites. They want revenge. And this is a very interesting. I've been doing some research on this. This Nashville bombing or do attack my view is this I believe this was a uh, a do attack um, I don't believe it was it, the, okay. the do's uh, can be optical which is laser, a high powered laser, and they can be electrical. Look at it, uh, Tesla's death ray. I think this is this is something they uh, can Google it. When you think of directed energy weapons, when you look at Lahaina, you it's usually like oh the they use high powered, high energy lasers to melt cars and cause fires yes there is that type of deal does exist but there is another type of a deal that's electrical um if you think about the electrical universe and what i believe this this type of a weapon does is it t it converts matter into pure energy uh, the, the the electrical deal converts matter into pure energy it's a very destructive uh thunderbolts i guess you, i guess thunderbolts you can think of, that's one way of thinking of it um and if if you think about the uh, i think this is what's had this is what i think this the deal they use in this nashville bombing i, I don't think it's simply a a, a an optical laser i think it was an electrical death ray type of a deal um that's my speculation obviously but that's what i'm going with i don't think it was just a laser 
I don't think it was laser. I think it was the, the Tesla. The, I mean Tesla. The, the death ray. It was electrical. I think this is the same technology they used to destroy MH370. I don't think the plane was teleported. I think the plane was destroyed. All the matter of the plane converted into pure energy. But where did it go? Um. Um. There was a, there was a maybe it was teleported to another dimension. Maybe that was a different kind of weapon. Uh, so maybe that was a different technology. Because my understanding of nuclear nuclear weapons is that what they do is they they. How do UFOs fly? UFOs use zero point energy. Where does the zero point energy come from? And in that video I was seeing the way he was explaining it is you see the electrons, they go around the nucleus, right? And the question he asked is where does the electron get the energy it needs to 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 move? Because obviously like when you when you have momentum, you need energy to give something momentum, right? I mean, where does that energy come from? And the way he was explaining it, it was the energy for the electron to have momentum comes from another dimension. It comes from a higher dimension. So that's the way he he explained it. And my understanding is that what happens in a nuclear explosion is they open a portal to this higher dimension and the same energy that the electron uses to go around an atom all of that energy flows into the material realm so instead of um instead of something being matter you open a portal and this and this energy comes into our material universe as pure energy like it's not captured as matter and it goes on you know, so you, so the energy from the high dimension comes into this, in, in into our universe, and you get this huge nuclear explosion. Um, so I think this electrical thing, uh, this de Tesla's death ray, I think it uses similar, it's a similar kind of technology. Um, except I don't think that you you need uranium or anything to do it. Um, I don't know how they're doing it, but. Um, see, there are all these advanced <laughs> weapon systems, and and, the, and and so the question is, who did it? Who? This the idea is they they wanted to get get rid of evidence over the whole, you know, the voting thing. Um, but but who did it? Was it the cabal? Was it the aliens? Is it is, do humans have this technology? I think I'm gonna say. This is this technology is this alien technology, extraterrestrial technology. It's possible humans have it. I'm not gonna say they don't have it. I think it's possible they have it because they confiscated all of this during Tesla's time, so they might have had enough time to develop the technology. They could be human, um, but I think uh, so. I'm not saying it can't be. Um, Maybe the ETs helped them to make it, um, but uh, but uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. A... <sighs> so the ones anyway, it could be humans, but I'm gonna go with ETs. But I could be wrong. Um, Anyway, so, I mean, we think these people are bad, but they're fighting with each other, you know. They believe they are morally right. Yes, we have to create this one world government because, you know, if these are like, you know, the, the dis Nazis and the descendants, and and the cabal, which goes back to thousands. I think the cabal started about five thousand years ago. Remember the Lacerda files? The, she said that the Elohim left 
left Earth around 5,000 years ago. They destroyed their installations on the surface. And they left. And maybe what happened was after they left, the the people who were worshipping them, they got together, they created a cult, and they tried to rewrite the Bible and remove all references to the Elohim, uh, replaced it, saying this is the... This is the monotheistic God when the Bible originally was talking about Elohim. Uh, there were all those videos on YouTube talking about it. You know, how the, the around, I don't know what was the exact date, but sometime some of the rabbis or, or one of the worshippers, they, they started changing the meanings of the word Elohim or Yahweh and all of that. So I think this cult goes back to 5,000 years, that's what I'm thinking. But anyway, I'll leave it there.